Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year to you all. I hope you're doing well and I hope that you enjoyed the holiday season. I truly enjoyed it. I had vacation and I spent the time with my family and friends. And um, it's been a while guys, I know it's been a while. The last time I recorded a video was exactly one year ago. I actually recorded the last video in January 2019 and here we are back in January 2020. Um, I don't know what to say guys, life been busy, I really was busy the past few years, I always say the same thing, but instead of rambling, um, let's get started with the video. I don't have any particular order, however, I think I'm gonna go through brands by brands, I think it's easier for me, you know, um, so I am sure I'm not gonna forget any handbags uh, in my collection. And yeah, guys, if you are interested, so keep on watching. By the way guys, please don't mind my outfit, this is my pyjama, I am at home and I feel super cozy and you know, comfy and casual so I thought I'm not gonna dress up for the video, I just do my makeup so in, at least I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look like a little bit presentable but yeah, just don't mind and it's a gift of my mom, from my mom actually and I really like it so yeah, let's continue. The first handbag in my collection I'm gonna show is this beautiful Neverfull MM in Damia Zor. And as you can see guys, I have it stuffed. I'm gonna show you as well how I, you know, keep my bags in shape. So this bag, I got it in 2013. It wasn't the very first handbag in my collection. However, it is one of the oldest handbag in my collection um, at the moment. And yeah, it's in the Damia Azur and it's still in the old... It's the old version, so it doesn't come with the pouch. And let me show you the inside quickly. I'm not gonna do a full review, otherwise we will be here like, I don't know, tomorrow. But quickly to show you the inside, it's still the old version with the old font. And here is one of the dust bags I use. And inside the dust bag, I just, you know, put inside like a pillow I get the pillows from Ikea I think they have the best pillows you know I just put the pillow inside the dust bag and then this is the way I uh, try to keep the bag my bags in shape my next handbag is this Alma BB in uh, rose velour and uh, it is in the vernis leather by Louis Vuitton as well I got this one also back in 2013 when they released it I was very very lucky to get this color because it's one I don't know if it, it was a seasonal color or just a limited edition color however the color just disappeared you know it's not a standard uh, color they have in their collection I really enjoyed this bag I admit I didn't use it as much however it's one of the bags that I just enjoy having in my collection so yeah this is my Alma BB in the, in the vernis leather the color is rose velour right after my Alma BB in the vernis I acquired um, this Alma BB in the Epi leather, the color is black and I got this one pre-loved. I was so addicted to my Alma BB that I got, you know, from the store. I was very addicted and uh, I knew I wanted to have a second one in my collection. So I, I went, you know, on the pre-loved market and then I found this one. And I was so lucky because the lady that I had that had this handbag, she had it like for three months. So when I bought it, it was brand new. This is actually still brand new. It's absolutely in, absolutely in um, brand new condition. But I received it, you know, with the whole tags, box, tags, box, and the dust bag. So I was very lucky and happy with this purchase. The Alma BB in the black epi leather. After a few months, um, still back in 2013, I got this beautiful luminous. PM in the empreinte leather and the color is Terre, which uh, stays for earth, like, you know, brown. So I am so happy that I still have this handbag in my collection. This is a very nice um, big bag, you know, and I believe should have, you know, all handbag lovers should have at least one big handbag, you know, in their collection. And it's so, so beautiful. You know, the leather is stunning. The, the umprint is just one of my favorite leather from Louis Vuitton. And it comes also with a strap, guys. It's stored inside at the moment. And um, I truly love 
this handbag. Voluminous PM in the Empreinte Leather. My next handbag is this beautiful speedy bandoliere in um, the 25, size 25 in Damier Ben. And I got this handbag in 2014. I replaced basically my very first handbag by Louis Vuitton. It was uh, the Speedy 30 classic one in Damien Ben. I loved the bag. Uh, you know, I really used it. I loved it. But the hype was real with the uh, Speedy B25 bandolier. I believe um, back then, you know, uh, Mary from Katmara or BJ Taylor um, or Jerusha Couture, all of those YouTubers, you know, they brought this hype basically on YouTube with the Speedy B25. So, and I was also hooked by them. And this is why I got this one to replace my Speedy 30. It's still one of my favorite handbag in my, handbags in my collection and it's still one of my almost used handbags. I have here attached a back charm that I got from Kevin. Um, he is Louis V83 uh, on Instagram. And then I got this beautiful tassel charm here by uh, a store on Etsy. So I will try to put down below the, the link of the store on Etsy so you can go ahead um, and check it out if you're interested. This here is a strap from the Trevi. I don't know if you remember, I used to have the Trevi PM in Damien Ben Louis Vuitton. And this one is the strap that it came with. I basically ordered, you know, a strap to go with the uh, Speedy B. And yeah, you guys, this is my very, very loved Speedy 25 Bandoulière. My next Louis Vuitton handbag is this beautiful and never full MM in the Mont Monogram. And this one I got also in 2014, right a few months after I uh, bought my Speedy B and it's so beautiful guys i love this handbag i love never it's uh it's kind of weird with this bag because when i got this bag when they released the new never you know with the pouches as you can tell guys this handbag is actually the old font i'm not sure if you can tell let me see as you can see this is the old font I got it with the Bordeaux and the Ivory and I only put my initials and M without any dots and anything and it's the old version however they still sent me the pouch with it and I really like it you know this it's also in the more monogram and here you see the Bordeaux with the Ivory and I super enjoyed this handbag I use it most of the time when I travel and a few times when I go to work and here again you know my dust bag with a pillow inside to keep my bags in shape and I really like to take care of my handbags I it's so important to me you know because because uh, I I don't know it's something that I really enjoy so it's you know collecting handbags or loving handbags is not only the only passion I have Taking care of them is also one of my passions. My next handbag is this pochette Métis in the empreinte leather and the color is noir. I got this back in 2017. I replaced my pochette Métis in the monogram that I used to have, you know, in the canvas and I prefer to have it in the empreinte leather. And as soon as they released this handbag, I'm not sure if it was 2016 or 17 in the empreinte leather, I knew I'm gonna get it. So. This is it. I attached here a from a department store. It wasn't expensive. It's a cheap strap, but I really liked the look of it. You know, it's like a um, animal print type ish of color. You know, um, then you have some holes with some you know red pearls, and then here I attached another pom pom by Michael Kors, and this time this is in the black. And I really, really enjoy this handbag. I super love it, and I'm so so happy that I have it in my collection. My next handbag uh, from Louis Vuitton is this beautiful uh, Noé Bébé in the monogram. I got this in 2019, mid 2019. As you can tell, my handbag has already a little bit of patina. I add, added here a name tag, which on the back, you guys, if you can tell, there is the Hawaii stamp. Then here I purchased a strap holder. You can purchase them, you know, online. I got it from a Swiss online shop that uh, is selling actually designer uh, handbags, like a second hand shop. 
and then I bought this strap to go with it which is um, adjustable and detachable because the other strap it's um, not I mean it is de detachable and adjustable however I'm not able to make it shorter and I prefer to have my handbag you know to wear it cross body however I wanted to have it a little bit higher than lower on my body so yeah this is my Noé bébé in the monogram my next handbag by Louis Vuitton is this Petit Lant clutch in empreinte leather and the color is Aurore I got this also in 2019 mid-2019 I bought it pre-loved I, I really love this clutch when they released it I don't know maybe nine or ten years ago I was very very much in love with this handbag back then I couldn't afford it it was way too expensive or I didn't want to afford it you know and uh, yeah somehow I came across I came across this to this handbag when I was you know just looking online I wasn't really searching for something but you know this popped up and I knew I had to get it I get it it was also an awesome price I got it also with an awesome price and so for me it was a very good deal and I'm not sure if you guys know this clutch it opens like this you know you have here the main compartment I again store it with some pillow or air papers um, and then you have like a small slot here here I have the tags that it came with and then you have a smaller a smaller slot here on the front not very deep though it's just you know small and then here another slot on the back maybe to store you know a mobile phone or a lipstick <laughs> and I so enjoyed this handbag very happy that I got it the Petit Lant clutch in the empreinte leather color Aurore my next bag is this beautiful Eva clutch in the monogram I used to have all of the three I used to have it in Dami Azur as well as in Dami Ban I sold both of them I just kept the monogram one I figured that this one is the one that I like the most and this is very well used guys it uh, comes also with the longest strap which I store inside to carry the, ba the bag as a crossbody bag they discontinued this bag I'm not sure why uh, obviously I understand that they have to make room for other new bags however I am the opinion they shouldn't uh, discontinue classics and this one clearly was one of the classic and in my heart it is still one of the classic handbags. My next handbag is this pochette accessoire NM in the Damier Azur and also here I used to have all of the three pochette accessoires uh, in the Damier Ben as well as in the monogram. I sold the other two and kept only the one in the Damier Azur. It comes with a leather strap to carry it by shoulder. It is stored inside. I just attached one of the gold chain um, that I got from Louis Vuitton itself. Here is the Ladrier charm that I got from uh, a trip in Paris. And I so enjoyed this handbag. I wear this uh, clutch either with my Neverfull in the Dame Azur or as a clutch its own. Or as its own as a clutch, you know. My next clutch is the this uh, pochette accessoire NM in the epi leather and uh, the color is noir I uh, bought this one I believe it was also 2013 when I was in during a trip in Paris it comes as well with a strap to carry the bag you know by shoulder and I attached the silver chain this time you know because the hardware is silver I attached the silver chain that I bought from the Vuitton and you know I really like to wear the bag like this as a clutch super sturdy you know the epi leather is very well made and it's not really crutchable I don't know if this is a word but you know it's very little wear and tear and I'm very very happy with this uh, beautiful clutch my last clutch by Louis Vuitton is this beautiful sunset boulevard in the vernis leather and the color is pomme d'amour and I got this pre-loved guys a few years ago I don't know must have been maybe 2015 and I purchased it um, from a consignment shop and um, here is the strap that it came with I believe when they released this back a few years back I don't know maybe again also 10 years it came with a shorter strap as well as a longer strap to carry it you know uh, on crossbody but when I got it pre-loved it just came with this one and it's absolutely fine because I have here a chain I have here a longer chain that I got from uh, um, from where did I got it from eBay 
and I whenever I carry this back I tend to attach this chain you know to the hooks here to the rings and then I just you know wear it um, as a shoulder bag or crossbody obviously and that was a very good deal as well when I purchased this handbag I don't remember exactly how much I paid but it must have been it was a very great deal when I got this handbag so I'm so so happy I found it my next bag is this backpack and I um, this is my Montsouris GM in the monogram it's a discontinued um, handbag I got this from one of my aunts a few years ago and it was very well loved it was absolutely worn out and when she gifted it to me I decided to bring it back to Louis Vuitton and just um, replace all the vaquetta leather and this is what I did I replaced basically all the vaquetta leather you know here on the strap here on the bottom on the front you know and I just you know wanted to have it clean and new again and this is what I did and I'm so so happy because when I when I received it back it was like brand new um, the canvas is very very stiff and and you know hard so I really like it the new canvas now seems to be a little bit more softer which I, I don't mind either you know but this is one of my vintage pieces that I have in my collections and I consider this to be one of my travel is is part of my travel collection so my Montsouris GM in the monogram my next travel uh, piece is this beautiful uh, key ball in the size 45 bandoulière I opted with the smaller size I am quite petite I am very short I mean not very short but I am I am 1 meter 61 centimeters which is about 5 foot 3 and I think this is the best size for me I mean it can also get very very heavy so I have it with the bandoliers and if I went if I would have gone with a bigger size you know <laughs> way too heavy for me um beautiful beautiful luggage piece actually I use this one whenever I travel for a few days um, either as a carry-on or when I stay overnight somewhere I tend to bring this with me and yeah very beautiful the Kipal uh, bandoulière in the size 45 monogram my next travel piece is this cruiser in the size 50 I got this pre-loved a few years ago I believe it was also 2013 and I got it uh, from a seller here where I'm living he actually was selling this as well as other travel pieces back then and uh, I, I I don't know what it was. I, he had a huge travel collection by Louis Vuitton. And they were selling every single piece, and I really wanted to have something that looks um, vintage-ish. And I thought the cruiser has this type of vintage look, as you can tell. It's not with any bandolier, so you can only carry this bag by by hand. It's super super heavy, and I to be honest, I'm not using this handbag as a travel piece if I drive by car or if we drive by car and go on vacation absolutely fine to take it with us um, other than that it's just a um, decoration piece in our living room it stays there and it's just a nice decoration piece my last um, travel piece by Louis Vuitton is this beautiful horizon in the size 55 I got this in 2019 for my birthday it was a gift to me from me and I'm so happy with this purchase I saved for one year I was saving my money one straight one year and I got this back and I was so so proud you know when I got it I was in Strasbourg in uh, France and I had a very nice day, you know, with champagne and they brought cake. It was very, very, um, um, a very beautiful day for me. So yeah, you guys, I use this uh, luggage only one time so far. Even though I've traveled quite a few times, I only used it once. I, you know, it, when I travel longer than a week or longer than... For days, I really have to take other luggages with me that, you know, have more space inside. So I tend to bring this one only if I go less than a week or a week max. 
You guys, this is my Chanel Medium Double Fab. I bought this um, five years ago. I bought this brand new from the store. It was a big event for me because as well here, I saved my money for this purchase and then I also got gifted and donated money from family and friends. They knew I wanna you know, go and, and buy this handbag. So they were so, so kind um to give me money actually you know and uh, so i was able to purchase this one this again is my chanel double flap in the medium size caviar leather and gold hardware my next chanel uh, bag is this beautiful wild on chain i got this in 2019 last year um for my birthday as well and uh, it's it was one of the limited edition as you can tell the blue the color it, it's called navy blue however it has this shimmery iridescent type of blue it is an iridescent blue kind of and i thought it's a grained lambskin but it isn't it isn't it's it's actually caviar caviar grained leather and it comes with the gold hardware and it's uh, in the classic version you know i really enjoy this one very happy to have it back in my collection as you guys know maybe if you remember i used to have another wild on chain in the lambskin leather i sold it for another walk but there you go, I have this back. My next handbag is this Promenade Clutch by Dior. I bought this, hmm, maybe 2016, 16 or 17, maybe 2016, I bought this in the store. I was um, with some of my friends and I, I had it for a very long time like on my, um, in my, on my wish list and then, you know, we were together the time was perfect and they had it and yeah it's very very nice it's actually a very nice size it's not a clutch it's a handbag you have a, some you have some card slots inside and you still have you know some slot compartment a zipper compartment and the main compartment it comes with a chain which is uh, currently stored inside you can wear it by shoulder as well as crossbody my promenade clutch by Chris and Dior. Here is my Diorama pouch in uh, black and gold hardware. I purchased this one in London. I when was it? 2017. Yes, I don't know what happened, but my camera died. So in the middle of my video. So I hope that I am on the right segment of the video. So. I bought this in 2017 when I was in London. I was away for a business trip and I had, you know, I spent a few days in uh, in London and I bought this one for my birthday. Uh, it comes with a chain, it's stored inside so you can wear the bag as a clutch or as a crossbody. It is smaller than the Vogue from Chanel. It only comes with it only comes with four card slots. Uh, you still have a, you know, uh, one compartment here in the front and then another zipper compartment. However, um, the, the pouch itself is a little bit smaller, uh, you know, than the one from Chanel. It's, yeah, but I really enjoy having it in my collection. And I have it in black with the light gold hard hardware. My next handbag is this Valentino chain bag. Uh, some call it the Rockstar bag, some call it the chain bag. I believe um, on the website it should be featured as a chain bag. You know um, at least when i got it it was called like this i got i got the back in the color putra which is the classic nude by the valentino garavani fashion house and the number of the color is p45 i believe or p49 one of the two must be the right one either p45 or p49 don't remember and it's in the medium size this uh, bag comes in three different sizes it comes in the small version in the medium and in a larger version or maybe or maybe this one is the biggest version maybe it comes in a mini in a small and in the medium yeah so um it's almost the same size as the um, chanel classic flap in the medium size i really love to have this back in my collection i even have shoes that match the back and yeah this is my valentino chain back or rockstar back my next handbag is this micro luggage by Celine and the color is Souris, which is a grayish type of a taupe color. I really like this handbag. It's so classic. It's so beautiful. Um, I bought this on 
maybe 2013 or 14 I was with my friend we spent the whole day together as well in Strasbourg and so this is when I got this handbag it's so so beautiful I really enjoy it the Celine micro luggage in the um, Suri my next handbag is the Celine trapeze in the small size um, I got it in black I got this one in 2014 or no, 15 I believe it, I got it in 15 2015 as well in Strasbourg I was there with one of my other friends spending the day together you know and um, I really was I was so happy when I saw that they had this one brand new and um, you know not displayed with brand new I mean not displayed they had it back on the back so yeah this is my trapeze in the small size in black with silver hardware i have to admit guys i'm not gonna use this bag as much anymore i tend to wear smaller bags and i tend to wear more practical bags this is a beautiful handbag but it's not as practical for me so i am actually selling this handbag i I'm gonna sell this handbag. Uh, I also have all the things to sell, so maybe if you are interested um, in this handbag or in any other items I may gonna sell, just let me know in the comment box below and then I may go and do like a sale video. And yeah, you guys, this is the trapeze in the black by Celine. My next handbag is this Chloe Drew Mini, and the color is. A top as well I don't know the exact name of the color but um, I believe it's uh, like a nude a ish it's like a oh it's called gray I believe the color it was gray yeah and it's in the mini size so this bag comes in two sizes or three sizes it comes in mini in the small which is also quite popular and then it may comes as well in a medium size but I'm not quite sure guys so don't quote me it comes with a longer chain obviously and it's stored inside and I really enjoyed to wear this bag, you know, during the summer month, you know, with dresses. So beautiful. It's a full leather handbag. It's also leather, uh, you know, lined with the leather inside. My Chloe Drew mini bag. My next handbag is another Chloe bag and this is the Chloe Fe backpack. Uh, it comes with two straps. It comes with this strap um, that you can wear the bag, you know, by shoulder. But then it also comes with um, other straps. And I just binded them, you know, with the Hermes. Uh, I did a bow here, you know. I just put them together for storage purposes. So you can wear the bag as a backpack or just as a handbag. And I really love this handbag I have here. Uh, attached you know like a back charm and this one is a star it's by Jimmy Choo it's a back charm by Jimmy Choo and I really love this handbag it's so practical for me it's so handy and it's a perfect size for my everyday use my Marmot um, mini my Gucci Marmot mini bag in the velvet black and the gold um, washed hardware I purchased this one two years ago in London Heathrow and uh, so so beautiful handbag has this, um, this double strap or you can wear it just as one chain strap you know I really love it I actually used this bag yesterday for going out and yeah my Gigi Mamo mini bag in the velvet and the next handbag is the Gucci Ophelia Gigi bag in the medium size. I believe this is medium or I'm not even sure if there is a actually the small. They have a small and a medium one. So this is the Ophelia Gigi um, handbag in the small size. It is in the um, classic Gucci canvas and has a strap, comes with a strap that you could wear it um, by shoulder or even crossbody. I This was the last bag i revealed on my channel actually that i bought this one uh 2019 in january exactly one year ago really really beautiful bag guys my next backpack is this mcm stark backpack and i got it with in the um light beige it comes also in a caramel in this classic beige they have the classic brown but i went with the um, light beige i attached the strap here um that i got from 
eBay as well and this is the mini size guys it's the perfect size for me currently I'm using this bag and you know it's so handy as well it's um, for me this one is um, is you know being able to be you know hands free and then not worry about anything uh, you know regarding the weather because I'm living in Switzerland the weather here is so terrible most of the time we have bad weather so this bag is a, is one of the perfect bag in my collection you know to wear every day without worry or about anything and yeah this is the Stark I believe it's called Stark backpack by MCM in the mini size my next handbag is this vintage um, Fendi bag I have this for sure about 20 years now because my mom used to have it a few years before I got it and I have it now almost 10 years in my collection so it must be 20 years old it's a truly vintage handbag and you can also tell because it's super worn out the leather is worn out I mean I mean this one is cotton you know or canvas but the leather you can tell the strap is super worn out also the, 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 the leather trim here on the corner super worn out but I still love it and I so enjoy this handbag and it's I'm still use, using it you know it's super practical as well and another Fendi bag is this beautiful Mama Zucca bag in the medium size I purchased this one for my mom seven years ago in 2012 and uh, she wasn't using it she wasn't really using it and then last year or maybe two years ago almost two years ago I you know when the whole Fendi mania with the Zucca bags and with the baguette came you know um, I remember that I bought my mom this bag and I, I, I obviously knew that she wasn't using it so I asked her if she was willing to get it to give it back to me or if, if, if she's okay if I would use it you know and have it in my collection she was absolutely fine because she was somehow not using it but yeah this is it it's in the cotton here as well it's a canvas and in with the black leather and you know in just in black next handbags are the Fula Metropolis and I have three of them let me show you all of them I as you know guys as you follow me for a while you know that I'm very addicted to this to those you know Fula Metropolis um, I remember the Lux Babe was revealing her once in her on her channel and as soon as I saw the video and as soon as I saw the back in person I was all about it and so I got it in three different color so I have it in red um, this one I got from my parents you know for my birthday the, the exact color name is Carbonet Red this is in the Carbonet Red beautiful one I really enjoy this handbag the next one I got it in Berlin uh, just a few months later uh, in navy blue beautiful and my last metro metropolis Fula metropolis is in this gray and this one is in the limited edition and has this perforated you know um, opening here so you have this perforated flap but then the back closes as well with this other flap so it's so beautiful and super handy perfect size you know for when you go out night out or you know when you, when you travel you have a carry-on bag as well as this bag for storing your mobile phone passport you know and uh, maybe a small wallet so yeah these are my metropolis full of bags the next bag i have is this michael kors maxime in the small size and the color is black i bought this in new jersey when i was visiting um new york it was with vj taylor um mj and with Matthew and we spent one full day in New Jersey in one of these outlet malls outlet cities and I got this beautiful Michael Kors crossbody bag so so beautiful it it looks very very elegant and chic you know it reminds me very much to the pochette Matisse you know for the opening I'm not using the bag as much but I still love this handbag and you know I'm very happy to have it in my collection not sure if I said it's in the medium size I believe I said it's a small size but it's it's medium it's the Maxine in the medium size I'm not even sure if there is a small size or a bigger size but the tag says um, medium 
My next Michael Kors bag is this beautiful Jet Set Wild on Chain and I received this one as a gift from Gigi. Uh, one of my uh, uh, one of my friends here on YouTube and you know Instagram she's actually not no longer active but she gifted this uh, to me for one of my birthdays and I'm so happy to have it it's so beautiful look at the snake type of print you know and inside you can store your mobile phone and then you have some card slots and slots and I like to use this handbag um, especially when I travel and be on vacation and on vacation this is one of my vacation clutches you know I tend to take with me my next handbag is this beautiful Cochinelle Atletis bag mini bag they released this bag I believe two years ago or one year ago and I was you know it's so beautiful the the the, the way they made the bag is very beautiful you have here one zipper compartment and the zipper is so smooth and then you have another compartment here on the front you know um so you basically have two and also the 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 lock here is so well made and it comes with the longest strap to carry the bag as a crossbody bag i also love it to carry it by hand you know just like this and it's in the leather very nice here on the back you can see cochinelle in in gold and it's an Italian brand it's it's the equivalent you know like the Furla so Furla and Cochinelle both of them are kind of the same precious from a brand perspective so yeah my my one and only Cochinella handbag almost over almost over <laughs> please be patient um, so my next bag is this beautiful Longchamp and this is the uh, net version from the Le Pliage and I bought this a few years ago I don't even remember it must be 2013 or 14 and I have it in a bigger size in black I have it as well in the smaller size in black and this is also the Planet version Le Pliage Planet the one that you can't fold and yeah very nice then I have another one, limited edition, also the planet version with this type of um, animal print, snake skin print and all of them are nylons, only the handle are made out of leather other than that the bag itself is made of, out of nylon so this was a limited edition and in the medium size and then I have two more uh, and this one are the Le Pliage, it means that you can fold them, these are the mini size and it's also a limited edition collection so I bought this in Paris uh, 2019 when I was with Sarah, the curly life we spent a few days in Paris and I bought this beautiful handbag there so I was inspired very much by her handbag, she used to have a small one and I really wanted to have a small in my collection too and this is from the club collection so they call it the club collection because it's a anniversary i'm not sure if it's the 10th or the 20th anniversary but for the anniversary they released and are going to release some le pliage bags with double colors so this one is in the purple and then i got another one during a trip uh, for my birthday actually uh, in beige really really nice I forgot to show you one of my vintage handbag there you go guys I'm so sorry this is one of my vintage handbag and this one is from Goldfine it's a German brand uh, no longer exists this brand was um, founded back in the 50 and this one was uh, a handbag from my mom she passed it down to me and I really love it. It has a pom-pom here in red and this one really reminds uh, reminds of the Kelly handbag by Hermes. I am quite sure this has been inspired by the Kelly. Um, I'm not sure when this bag was made. Um, super old handbag, very vintage. Here you can tell it says gold file and it's a full leather handbag there you go guys we are over we are done i featured all my handbags that i have left in my collection if you could only see how it looks in this room quite a mess but i'm so so happy that we went through i'm happy that i was able to record this video i'm happy that i'm back i really hope you enjoyed watching this video let me know if you want to see any review for any particular handbags 
most of the handbags should have been reviewed already maybe you want to have an updated version just let me know in the comment box below and yeah you guys let me know what you think in the comment box below if you have any questions you know um just go ahead and thank you so so much for watching um i really appreciate it and again happy new year and see you soon on my next video bye